with the eternal life of the presence of the triune God comes divine peace. It was the same peace, my peace, he said, that kept him calm on that Thursday night, knowing what was about to happen, knowing that his disciples would scatter, Peter would deny him, knowing that he would go to the cross, bear sin. It was the same calm, really, that he exhibited through his whole life when he was treated with mockery, scorn, hostility, hatred, betrayal, all undeserved. Where did that peace come from? Well, essentially it came from perfect trust in the Father, perfect trust in the Father. So just mark it down in your mind. Peace is connected to trust. It's connected to trust. His trust in the Father was so clear and so consummate and so complete that Hebrews 12, 2 says, He went to the cross for the joy that was set before Him, even though in the going in the garden He was sweating blood in the agony. When Jesus stood before Pilate, Pilate was one disturbed person. Pilate was getting more disturbed and more disoriented and more disconnected from any kind of reality the longer he had to cope with Jesus. So finally, in frustration, chapter 19 of John, verse 10, Pilate says to Jesus, "'You do not speak to Me?' He's literally outraged that, that Jesus doesn't get who He is and how important He is. "'You do not speak to Me? Do you not know that I have authority to release you and I have authority to crucify you?' The calm is stunning. Jesus answered, "'You would have no authority over Me unless it had been given you from above." That's trust. Whatever you're going to do to Me is what God wants you to do to Me. Whatever's going to happen is God's plan. That's why I'm telling you the peace that He gives is the peace that is built not only on the external reality of justification but the internal reality of a God who can be trusted. This is where the subjective peace begins to really become strong. And so Paul said to the Thessalonians, as I read you, uh, that I want to pray that you would be full of peace. That peace isn't created in a vacuum. It does, doesn't come as a result of manipulating your mind, playing mind games or psychological tricks. So Jesus says, look, I'm giving you My peace, the peace that I possess in the face of Pilate, My executioner, in the face of the cross, in the face of separation from the Father, My God, My God, why have You forsaken Me, in the face of sin-bearing. This is My peace, and it's My peace that I'm giving you. And that should be obvious. If the Trinity lives in us and the Trinity's presence is our eternal life, then we have the possession of those attributes which are God's attributes, including His peace.